275 till it reads 120. I know one day you'll come back to this video wanting those exact numbers, so there they are. Whatever I end up titling this video, I know it will be a compromise because slow roasting salmon has so many benefits that it's hard to pick just one as the hook. Not only does it yield a silky texture unlike the results that other cooking methods yield, but it's also almost impossible to screw up. It's great for meal preppers because it reheats so much more deliciously than most day old salmon. And since it's a method, not a recipe, you can customize it enough to enjoy on a regular basis without getting tired of it. Preheat your oven to 275. As the oven preheats, grab yourself a piece of salmon. One more benefit of this cooking method is it does not change whether you're cooking an entire side of salmon or just a tiny filet. Run your finger down the fish to make sure there aren't any bones. My grocery store takes them all out, but I prefer a quick double check over a pin bone to the dome any day of the week. Brush an oven safe dish or pan with olive oil and lightly oil the flesh of the fish too. Salmon is plenty fatty on its own, so this is more so a matter of salt adhesion. Sprinkle both sides lightly with salt and it's ready to cook. If you wanna talk customization options, here are just a few. One, tuck some hearty herbs like thyme or rosemary under the skin. Two, shingle some thinly sliced citrus over the top like lemons or blood oranges. Three, shower the flesh with a spice mix like chili flakes, paprika, coriander, and fennel seeds. Four, any combination of all three. All you've gotta do for perfect salmon is to pop it in the oven and wait between 15 and 35 minutes, and that is a big range. Honestly, you should rely on a good thermometer to tell you when it hits 120 degrees Fahrenheit instead of going by time. This cooking method is unlike most others, so if you try to go by eye, it can be hard to get right. Don't be surprised if the top of the fish looks unsafe after cooking. That low oven temperature combined with the high fat salmon results in a glassy self-basted flesh that might look kind of raw. If you must go by eye, call it done when the thickest part flakes under fork pressure. While it spends a half hour in the oven, you've got another opportunity to customize the dish. I usually enjoy this without a sauce, but you could serve it with one of the world's many salsa verdes. Or is it salsas verde, like attorneys general? Regardless, consider salsa tomatillo, chimichurri, or chermoula. Serve it on rice or couscous or with a cucumber side salad. It's hard to tell you exactly what to do because half the point is that this method turns a readily available fish into something that you can enjoy on a moment's notice with little prep or foresight. Whatever you don't finish in one sitting can be refrigerated for a few days and served cold on a salad. Leftover pieces also crisp up really well, skin side down on a medium high heat pan. Where a typical piece of leftover salmon will overcook when reheated, this gently cooked piece tastes like it was freshly pan fried even two days later. If you hit a wall on day three of leftover salmon, brush the flesh with something like a Korean barbecue sauce or a teriyaki before crisping up the skin and warming it up. Armed with this technique, I hope that you can treat salmon like a protein that comes together just as reliably as boneless, skinless chicken. My omega-3 fatty acid consumption is now through the roof. I can smoothen and wrinkle my brain at will. Watch this. Dogecoin to the moon. Cut to the ad, please. House has paid to be mentioned at the end of this video. Remember them from the pumpkin bread video? Well, they're back and they sent me two more flavors to try, ginger yuzu and spiced cherry. Over the course of this long quarantine, the nightly imbibement has slowly escalated from a fun escapist treat to a headache inducing reminder of the unrelenting passage of time. So I've been enjoying an ounce of house over ice with plain seltzer for an evening ritual with a nice low ABV. With packaging like this, it's obviously a product meant to evoke a certain atmosphere and the included booklet contains some nice Spotify playlists, cocktail recipes, and general advice for how to get that atmosphere dialed in. Try house now, get 15% off of your order when you use my code, Internet Shaquille, to, and click the link in my description box.